want to sing. Okay. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Sue L. Smith, 76, of Columbus, Ohio, formerly of Salem Center, Ohio, passed away unexpectedly on October 9, 2018, in her home. Born February 9, 1942, living in Columbus, Ohio, moved her three children to Salem Center, Ohio, where she lived until moving to Columbus in 1989. Sue is predeceased by her parents, John M. and Mabel P. Cook Thomas of, o of Columbus, Ohio, and her youngest son, Shane E. Smith of Salem Center, Ohio. Sue was a loving mother and an excellent cook who enjoyed cooking for her family. Sue was a collector of many things, particularly ceramic pigs and Native American dolls. She displayed these collectibles proudly and could tell you where she had gotten each one. She often could see the beauty of many things whether she needed them or not. Sue is survived by her two remaining children, daughter Kenny Sue Thomas and Sharon, and her husband Patrick W., son Kelly J. Thomas, both of Columbus, Ohio. Also survived by three brothers, John and Lena Thomas, Ace and Rose Thomas, George and Sandy Thomas, all of Columbus, Ohio. Sue is also survived by her two grandchildren, Missy and Joey Thomas of Middleport, Ohio, along with two great-granddaughters. <clears throat> John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6, Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, <coughs> you may be also. You know where I am going, and you know the way. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's pray. Lord, we come together with the family and friends of Sue to celebrate her life, to mourn her death on this day. 
And I pray that you'll be with us and bless this little service commemorating her in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus says, In my Father's house are many dwelling places, eternal dwelling places, because everything about this life is temporary. Clothes wear out. Our lives, money that we make is insignificant in light of eternity, which is why Paul the Apostle states in Hebrews 13, 14, that here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Matthew 6, verses 19 and 20, Jesus said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. This life is temporary, but we have a promise of an eternal home in the life to come which is the hope that we hold on to today. I want to read another scripture from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 5. And starting at verse 24. The Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He who hears my word and believes on him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they who hear shall live. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They who have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they who have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. There is a hope of a resurrection. The dead will not always be dead, but there is the promise of life after death and we hold on to that hope on a day like today acts 24 and 15 says that there will be a resurrection of the dead and in the new testament it tells us to comfort one another with these words the words of hope of the resurrection of life that we will be united with our loved ones once again that all those who die in jesus are merely separated for a period of time I want to read Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. <coughs> he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm going to ask you to sing another song, if you will. <coughs> I didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore Praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight 
It's not my place to question Only God knows why I am just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight You always made my troubles feel so small and you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as long as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then God must need another angel <coughs> Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me So I will hold on tight It's not my place to question only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah 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 I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take out of this world our deceased Sue Smith. We commit her body to the earth, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day, the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Would you all join me in saying the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for now, and forever. Amen. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth, Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. God, on this day, I come to you in Jesus' name, and I ask you, Lord, to comfort this family that I've just met in this time of grief and sorrow as they say goodbye to their mother, to their grandmother, to their friend, Lord, on this side of heaven. I pray in Jesus' name, God, that you would bless them and comfort them in coming days, that you'd wrap arms of love around them and help them through this tough time. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal Jesus, equip you to do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.
This concludes our services at this time. You may return to your phone. Um, there's going to be some...